Financial markets' strong reaction to Donald Trump's projected return to the Oval Office included a spike in the value of the dollar and a sharp sell-off in fixed income, hinting at both investor optimism at strong economic growth and concerns about inflation. The U.S. dollar index, which tracks the American currency's exchange rate against a basket of six other developed market currencies, rose 1.8% to about $105.30 by around 8 a.m. Eastern Time, registering its highest level since early July. And bond yields spiked with the benchmark 10-year Treasury rising 16 basis points to a four-month high of almost 4.5%, the largest daily jump in 10-year yields since April. Higher bond yields point to a fixed income sell-off as investors demand higher annual payouts to hold government debt. The dollar's rise is partially a reflection of the protectionist trade policy endorsed by Trump, and the Treasury is in part a result of investors moving money into riskier assets, but there's also a more pessimistic reason for the movements. If debts climb under Trump, coupled with concerns about the impact on goods prices due to tariffs, inflation could remain elevated for longer than previously expected, which in turn would likely cause the Federal Reserve to pump the brakes on its interest rate cutting cycle kicked off in September. So, lessened rate cut expectations push up bond yields as traders price in interest rate cuts closer to today's 4.75% to 5% in the medium and long run, and Higher expected rates simultaneously drive up the value of the dollar as the likelihood of cheap borrowing costs in low-rate environments decreases. For more on this story, read Derek Saul's article on Forbes, linked in the comments.